so welcome everybody. So this is going to be Tower of Guns run, first time I've done it on a live stream. Going with Egon's with Pride commenters. and Junkman. Yep. Alright, so let's start this off. I got the silly dialogue enabled. So there's actually uh, like ten different random stories that go along with this. Oh, so it kind of does seem like a fun game. I might get it. Alright, so it should start up one of the storylines, maybe? Yep. I am an inebriated scholar. <laughs> Supposed to be here an hour ago. So I'm collecting some coins at the start. Totally here, like right inside the front door, should I just come in up to your apartment? So th these are just very funny random little stories. The farther I make it, the more of the story you get to hear. Alright, so these are Hugbots. Oh, they want to give you hugs. And loot! <laughs> so, blue powers up your weapon's experience bar and makes it more powerful. Red is health, and yellow will power up the item if I get one. So my current perk means loot never vanishes. Otherwise, it normally vanishes after like 10 or something seconds, which is really bad. Shoot door to open it. All right, now we're about to enter at level proper. Lots of guns. Oh, this is actually not too bad. There's only five of them. Do the hug bots? Nope. They just hug you. You don't actually have to kill them, but they have loot inside of them. <laughs> so I don't really need any of this health, but I'm going to grab it anyway. It doesn't give you any bonus for picking it up, but... Um, so there, there's also secrets hidden around each one of these rooms. So sometimes you get extra health, sometimes you have, like, coins, sometimes you grab extra weapons. This really is like the Binding of Isaac. Mm-hmm. We've yet to actually hit a really hard room. I was actually surprised that was such an easy entrance. Okay, this is going to be an easy, evil one. I hate this room. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there they are. Oh, shit. Spin bots. Spinning tops is, of doom. Is there any multiplayer to this game? Anymore? No, but I wish there was. Okay, um, I'm, I'm stuck under the stairs. Need to get out of here. These things you do not want to get cornered by. These are not the best thing to come across. Who's shooting spike balls at me? Oh, it's you. Die. You do not want to get trapped in a corner by these guys, because they'll just keep ticking your health down. Ghost will always kill somebody for them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where did you guys come from? So over there, you can actually see one of the vending machines. I'm going to wait to make sure they're, everything's dead and get all this uh, health loot. That's one of the reasons I like the thing that keeps it... Oh. I see you up there. Come on, drop down. Drop down, you little beam. I'm not shooting too high. This gun actually pushes you back as you shoot. There we oh, go. That's not oh. bad, actually. Alright. So yeah, as you level it up... Ooh, 58 coins. Okay, I need to see if I can get 58 coins. That gives me an extra jump. It would only be bad if it was a close-range weapon. But if it's a long-range weapon, it's not too bad. Well, if you think about a long-range weapon, you back up every shot, then... So yeah, you can the spike yeah. balls you can hit, they get wild sometimes and they get annoying. Oop, almost took some fall damage there. Thank you. You do have a little bit of a magnetic range, and you can actually get power-ups that increase your magnetic range. Which is kind of handy. So you don't have a double jump currently, right? Nope, just a single jump, and I mean, you can see how sh pathetic this jump is. Like, this is me jumping. It's actually a little higher than normal, but I mean, it's really short. Oh, shoot. Oh, so that triple jump perk at the start wasn't too bad. It was one of my favorite ones until I found Junk Man. <laughs> and so you can see, like, there's stuff hiding up there and whatnot, and we needed actually 56 coins, and I think we only managed to get 55. That's a health coin over there. Let me see if I walk down this. Oh, there's one more coin. Nice, we have 56. Just enough. So I think I should be able to get... Yeah, wow, that jump really is sad. Yeah, it's not a big jump. It... Is there a fall damage? Or... Oh, it's 58! We have 56. No sale. Give it to me. There is a lot of fall damage. I have died solely to fall damage. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we can't get up there because we don't have any of the power-ups that will get us there. So this is a boss. So we're probably going to die right here and now. Oh, no. Please don't be Mama Spinbot. So this really It's Mama is... Spinbot. I, I gotta get this, I think. Okay, Mama Spinbot is actually one of the least dangerous bosses. 
but if I don't have a ledge to hide under, it becomes dangerous. And those bombs, I need to kill it before those start going off. Those, like, take the whole room out. Now, after you kill the boss, can you come back and buy it? Nope. But I do get some loot from the boss. So that door locks behind me. So we did lose that extra jump. But we did get a lot of health. And we have a gun mod. Vampire. Ooh, that's going to be helpful. That vampire actually goes really well with this gun. So I'll oh, steal geez. a bit of health from every enemy I kill. That spin bot got really bright. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, there's a lot of lights and flashing. If you have any tendency to seizures, do not buy this game. Uh, I don't have time to see who sees your butt family does. And so every at the end of every level, you get some hug bot, a little bit more story, and you get some more health. Have you beat it, right? Um, by accident once. So there is like an ending. Yeah, each one of these stories has an ending. Metal bugs, interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, I did. I skipped a little bit of the story there. And so there's a par time, and there's secrets on each level, and you're graded based on how many secrets you find. I have a feeling you find all the secrets. Mm. No. A lot I of them you can't it. actually get to without having the right perks. That environmental damage immunity is really helpful. Okay, this is the foundry level. Oh god, this is a, I haven't been in this room before. It's gonna be Oh yep. Now we're starting to get the difficulty up. Take out these spike launchers before they kill me. Oh, you stupid robots. Ooh. Got my free jump anyway. So now I can go like double? Yeah, so you can actually travel really fast by double jumping. Like, you get a lot of horizontal movement. Ooh, that's a cheap item. I'll take that. It's the mystery box. And as you can see, there's, like, platforms and stuff if you get up top there and stuff like that if you have some of the special other items. All right, mystery badge. Let's see what we get. Item charge rate increases. That doesn't help because we don't have an item, but we'll have it ready when we need to. We actually got our gun up to level 3, so he does shoot really fast now. Oh no, not this one. Oh boy. Okay, need to get rid of these guys first. These guys will heal me, because they'll just, they'll just have spikes sitting up there. Then we need to get rid of the exploding ones. Ugh. A little overwhelmed. Alright, there's some more coming in. And these turrets. Giant subwoofers of doom. Now there's actually a couple of secrets I know about in this room. So it's a randomized dungeon. Ooh, damn. Ooh, jump height up. So now I get a much nicer double jump. Which actually means I can bypass most of this room, I think. Yep. So these are acceleration cubes. So you get no when you get shot off in the direction you enter. Actually kind of fun to play with. All right, oh, so. you got jump height up, too. Yep. Right, now, if I go down here, it's going to spawn a couple more guns. Ow. Which I'm luckily standing behind, because I got to bypass that. Because Oh, wow, look at all these big guys. Um, bad, 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 bad. Okay, and something's shooting at me up there up top. There we are. So I'm actually handling this room pretty well. Could be a lot worse. All right. All right. Now for some secrets, because bypassing this room is kind of stupid, because there's a lot of good stuff down there. Oop, almost missed some experience. The vampiric is really keeping me alive as well. It's kind of a very good life mod. So you can jump down here. You're gonna take some fall damage. So there's a secret in there, if I'm willing to risk the health to get around that corner. Lava, not as deadly as you'd think. And with a double jump, you can refresh your double jump every time you land on the lava. Oh, dear, this is a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. Glad I have a double jump and extra height. Come on, 
Bye, bye, bye. I need a land. I need to land on the platform to save. Okay, well, I'm dead. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm not. I keep forgetting about the tilt button. You can hold down C to spawn back to the beginning of the room. So at least I left myself a little bit of health. That was a lot longer corridor. I've never been down that one before because I only recently found out that lava wasn't instantly deadly. <laughs> All right, so now I gotta go down the other way. Take a. Oh, and double jump will save you from fall damage if you jump right before you land. Forgot so what was that thing you purchased? Um, I have no clue. I just needed to purchase it to get a landing pad, so I have no idea what it did. <laughs> it looked like a uh, ice skate thing. Oh, it's an extra speed then, I guess. Yeah, I'm moving a little bit faster than normal. So here's the beam that'll return me to the top, and I want to sneak around. Secret number two. Ooh, jump height. And I don't have enough money. Damn. The jump height would have been better. Mm -hmm. I think that's an extra jump. Oh well. And luckily, my loot never vanishes, so all this health and stuff... Oh, are you still alive over there? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's health. an extra jump that you missed. Yeah, damn. Alright, whatever. Oop, there's still some health down there, though. Ow. I think I just did more damage than I'm gonna recover. <laughs> So I like it in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the arrow. It shows you how many jumps you have remaining. You can actually stack up to 200 jumps. What? Mm-hmm. I think my record is five. There's actually an item that gives you a free jump. All right, this is not going to be a friendly room. Oh, no, not the explodies. That seems like it'd be a bit overpowered to have 200 jumps. Well, you have to get them all, though. Well, yeah. But the game allows stacking them up to that many. Ooh, I just got a badge off one of these guys. Ooh, it's a mystery badge. Uh, Stay back. Alright. Nothing happened. Damn it. <laughs> Those happen occasionally. <laughs> oh, so mystery badges can sometimes give you nothing. Yep. That sucks. You can actually spend money for mystery badges that do nothing. But there's a secret down here. Right next to these gigantic gun speakers. <laughs> Dang subwoofer. And I don't think we have enough money for it. Oh no, it's 35. Four. <gasps> Ooh, this is one of the fun ones. What is it? Oh, plus there's some coins here. This is... A demotivational jelly. Not exactly my favorite oh. one, but it has some interesting things. So I don't want to use it here yet. Let's go up oh, to the... Oh, it's an item. Yep, go up to the top of the room. Oh, that is... That is pleasant looking. Rotating Maw of Death. And gun butts. I hate these guys. Jelly. That just sounds weird. Whoa, what the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, jeez, there's a lot of them. Okay, you know what? It's a slow field. But even if my left foot was on the line, I would not walk through that creepy looking thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the demotivational jelly is kind of like a shield, or...? It's a slow field. Oh, okay. Oh god, there's big tanks. Alright, we're getting bigger and bigger tanks. There's actually a third higher tank than this. I think it might be the one down on the end there, no. It looks neat. So, this <laughs> would actually be a cool room if you had the immunity to environmental damage, because you can just stand on the spikes. So different ones of those initial perks do give you different uh, ways to conquer each room. Except yours don't really conquer anything. <laughs> well, you get more loot overall, so your guns get leveled up faster, you become... You recharge your items faster. Like, I've almost got my item recharged. Oh, that's a big coin. That's actually... Which is perfect for ghosts. Damn it, there we go. Oh, no, this perk is... Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, now we're in a little bit of trouble. We're stuck underneath the uh, room there. But these guys uh, drop a whole bunch of, like, exploding... Mines. Luckily, a lot of the wall guns are stationary. They don't track you. Did not mean to fall down underneath here. Alright. This is a death maze here. 
All right, we got the jelly back. That's good to know. I'm talking to myself a lot. Well, I'm not sure if I'm talking to myself more or less than when I normally record this alone. All right, some coins, coins. There's the door to the next room. So I've got a choice. If I want to go back... No, there's nothing up on that ledge other than a couple charge things. Let's see if I can get up on top of this, though. Actually, no, I can... Oh, there's some coins. Mm. Oh. Duh. I got a double jump. I keep forgetting. There we go. There's a health coin. Charge. And then there's a couple coins inside of this gaping field of death. Alright, next room. This is... This is an interesting room. Oh boy! Oh, jeez! So yeah, bullet hell. A little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's stay in this corner and just take out all the ceiling guns. What's with the glow and light? It'll lift me up towards them. Kinda wanna kill those guns before I go up there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Unfortunately, this gun starts getting really inaccurate at long range. This is going to take a little bit. No par time on this one. Use the slow field. <laughs> there we are, there we are, there we are, there we are. Luckily, I'm sitting in a corner, so I don't have to worry about being pushed back into lava. I've done that before. <laughs> really? <coughs> is that how you Must figure out lava well. doesn't instantly kill you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, environmental hazards in this game are a lot less deadly than they appear. Alright. We've got rid of a lot of the bullet hell up top. What I actually want to do is get to the other side, because look at all those different levels. There's got to be secrets on those. If wow, I get... your, your stream really dropped. It's... Oh, the number of people. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, some people just probably are tired. It is pretty late. Alright, so I need to get... Oh, cool, this is a really slow elevator. It's perfect. Alright, no loot on that one. Nope. No loot on that one, no loot on that one, no loot on that one. Let's take this one. So, I like how some of the loot like floats up and down in the beam. It actually has weight and gravity. The Twitch chat's getting hilarious. What are they saying? They're talking about how Togepi will die with the oh, examples. can't do that. Spoilers. No talkie talkie. Because this is going to probably go out a lot earlier than the other episodes. Oh, yeah. Um, nothing secret down there. Ooh, there's something. Oh. Okay, that's where we have to get going. Alright, so let's go up into the light. And there's no spikes at the top of this elevator for once. They usually push you up into a spike wall or some kind of, like, grinder. You know, that's a video you could do. On how to work in the emulator. Yeah, I guess I could. I hate doing tutorial things, though. Alright, so well, this is actually a lot more peaceful room than I was expecting it to be. And there's the exit. Maybe? Oh, it, this is behind the wall. I get it. Aha, secrets. Well, not really secrets, but free loot. You know, I noticed your demotivational jelly thing. It's like flashing yellow and red. Yeah, because it's uh, ready to use. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a Grandpa Napoleon. What's that? Really, really big gun guy. Oh, is that so the demotivational jelly, not the most ideal shield in the world, but it will allow you to get past it before it blows things up. Oh, so this is like the mini boss. No, this is the boss on the floor. Oh. He's one of the easier ones because you can just sit and shoot. Okay. Ooh, okay. So now we have a choice between whatever this is and the current items. Let me go ga gather some things. This one I actually think is a... Is that a health booster? Soothing Siphon. Ooh. 
That might give me a period of extra... I think I'm going to take this one instead. I don't like the slow field too much, but it's kind of fun to use. This one might give me a period of vampirism, or it might give me um, extra health. Alright, so we get some loot from our friends. This is like the perfect game for you. Yeah. You get different loot each time, so mm -hmm. it's like, woo! And it's like a fun little FPS with upgrades and secrets and stuff. Oh my gosh, there's actually a secret behind this. I never noticed that before. I didn't think there was a secret in the safe room. You just happen to look over the edge and there's like, oh, ta-da, there's a coin. <laughs> they did that sometime in Binding of Isaac, too. Wow, found the 42% uh, of the secrets on that level. Nice. Alright, now it's time for, oh, the warehouse. This is a fun level. Yeah, the Hugbots let you recover a little bit. There might be an achievement for not killing them, but I haven't yet to be able to bring myself to not kill them. <laughs> so, yeah, this floor is dark. Is this on Steam? Uh, it's on Steam, it's also on the Humble Store. I highly recommend the Humble Store, because it's about five cents cheaper. And that is a lot of turrets. You can't see any of the turrets on the walls in this one get close to them. <laughs> Did you read the story for that one? No, I, I'm too busy not dying. <laughs> Summarize? <laughs> uh, you basically uh, mis drunk, either drunk dialed or misdialed your ex. <laughs> and she called you a creep to, uh, like you were a stalker. Joy. So I just picked up a uh, power-up that gives me faster experience charge on my weapon, which is good. So as you actually take damage, your weapon actually loses experience. Oh. So you... Kind of like uh, Cave Story. Yeah, so you, you kind of have to... Uh, you, you get weaker the more damage you take, and I think down there is not a safe place. Yeah, it's not a pit to go down. Alright, this room... Oh my god. God! Oh, hell no! Look at all these so guns! The Tower of Guns. This is this is the reason they call it Tower of Guns. Um, oh, look, it's a... Jesus. Oh, there's so many. So many. I'm gonna have to jump down this way. Holy cow. Oh, so many things flying after me, too. Oh, there's a second floor of them. I think I saw a secret in that room. Yeah, there, there was a there was a side path at the beginning, I think. Oh, okay. I think yeah, I noticed that as well. Saw. Yeah. But I need to take care of all of these guns first. Obviously. You need to survive before you worry about it. Yeah, the you vampirism know. mod is actually giving me a lot better survivability than I normally have. Because normally you don't get a lot of health off the pickups. But, because I have the Junkman perk, every bit of health that drops, I do get eventually. Which is why I really like it. Makes it very nice. Okay. There we go. It does sound nice, but I think there's probably better perks for other people. Yeah. For me, it's perfect. Alright, let's see what we got over here before we loot everything else. That gun you was fun. Okay, so... I did, oh, I never even used my soothing siphon. Forgot about it. Right, let's see what this one gives me. Imagine if you Loot Lubricator. <laughs> well, thank you, Soothing Scython. We have a loot lubricator. <laughs> you, what you should do is use your Soothing Scython see if oh, yeah. it increases your health. At all. Yeah, let's see if it increases the health or if it just gives me vampirism. Because they actually have separate charge bars. Yeah. Weapon I level down. XP to HP transfer. Ooh. No thank you. Wait. So I actually lost a weapon level. Luckily we still have a bunch of loot left to get us back up. That was dumb. Yep. It Glad I didn't use that in the middle of that fight. I'd have been a lot weaker. So, it basically took your... It took um, a whole weapon level and then gave me some health. It probably gives you quite a bit of health equivalent, but still takes yeah, your health. Could... 
Well, this would have been a secret if there was any actual loot here. You picked up a speed up, too. Yeah, the speed ups are always nice. They stack really well with the jump boost. Like, jump stacks well with everything. Ah! Jump height boot increase. Nice. Getting too much jump height, though, it keeps you in the air too long. And it makes it harder to control. It looks like you're not uh, affected by, like, too much gravity, like you're in outer space. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. Um, well, you don't take any fall damage from a height that you can jump. So as you increase your jump height, you decrease your fall damage. Ow. That went oh. to... Actually, the nice setup. You can setup. actually crit in this? Yes, there's actually perks that give you more crits. Alright. So some cool stuff. I hate that creepy noise. I always found it strange when non-RPG games have crit. Oh, whoa, whoa! Jeez. Sneaky little bastard. There's a flamethrower around that corner. <laughs> you quite so there's done? a max level for your weapon, it seems. Yeah, it's five. Ooh, this is the precise mod. I actually rather, I think I'm going to keep the vampire rather than spending money on the precise. The precise will make it, wherever I point my crosshair, everything goes. What does the loot lubricator do, anyways? Um, oh, I should have used it there. Basically, it increases the uh, drop rate of loot. And Crit is saying it's your fetish item. <laughs> Ow! Okay, that gave me fall damage. I didn't remember that doing that. I thought that was a free teleport back to spawn. And it's the boss. So we want to remember to use the loot lubricator right before the boss dies. Oh god, it's a dark area boss? Oh, what the hell is this? Oh no. No, no, no. I've never seen these guys. Okay, snow glove bros. Um, oh boy. These guys do not... No, these are... all oh, they're showering bombs everywhere. <laughs> oh no, that's the wall cannons. Okay, focus on the bosses, focus on the bosses. Keep skipping, focus on the bosses. I can out-damage them if I just don't take a whole bunch of damage. Oh wow, they shoot laser Those are actually minefield. Like, they take forever to, dis to die. They're like a poison gas bubble that explodes. Yeah, that looks deadly. Okay. So what do we have? We have a spread gun mod, so let's try that out. That actually looked pretty Oh, cool, that is glorious. That... That... That is awesome. What's that? <laughs> and then we have a... Hindenburg you Pulse. Forgot to use Press E to use. Indicator. Deploy, destroy bomb bots? What? Okay, let's... I, oh, that'll explode anything that's in the air. Yeah, screw that. I'm going to take the loot guy. I forgot you to use the loot use thing. <laughs> it's really hard to remember against bosses because you're focusing on other things, but I like this spread. I think I can handle myself health-wise, but having that kind of uh, spread damage is going to help me clear bigger rooms. Oh, yeah. No accuracy on this, but when you have a cloud of bullets, you don't need accuracy. Um, if you use the loot lubricator, do you have a better chance of getting more um, mm -hmm. of those weapon Badges. drops and whatnot? Yep. Yeah. I wonder if there's a way to hug the hug bots back. Maybe it gives you, like, some uber... Okay. Yeah, I'm probably doing it bad by killing them all, but... Like, if you hug the hug boss, you get invincibility for 10 okay. seconds. Okay. Is that what they're actually called, by the way? Yeah, they're hug bots. It's on their official website. Let's go look up. Glad I have large-scale flak. Perfect for these tanks. I think each one of the random things has a chance to crit, too. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm seeing, I'm reading a bit of it. Out the corner of my eye. It's pretty hilarious. Alright. Yeah, this spread mod is just nuts on this high power gun. I'm assuming on other guns, these mods wouldn't work as well. But I like the high fire rate. I 
when you get close to these guys, they just die instantly. Ooh, okay, so here's a choice. We have a badge that makes the game more difficult. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Alright, stream wants the pain. Difficulty up. Stream wants the what? Stream wants the pain. Difficulty has been increased. Now the question is, can I get up just high enough? Catch an edge or something? Yes. Aha! Got up to the top floor. Doesn't have any extra loot other than a couple things that things were dropping, but... Alright, what do we got next? Oh, this room is fun. Look at all the turrets! Sneaking behind these guys is the easiest way. Oh boy, another patch. Oh, and the airbots. Eat my flak! Whoa. What the fuck? That's kind of cool. There's an invisible wall here I didn't know about. How do I get out of it? It's weird. Never knew that was there. Backed into that one by mistake. Oh, and there's a big gun up here. <laughs> so that's how you discover a lot of the secret areas. It's just like, that eh, shouldn't be there. Wait, so how do you get out of that room? You have to figure out... Oh, critical chance down. Oh, random box. You betray me, so... This is either saying you train your Pokemon now, Ghost. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think this spread mod was a bad idea. I think the vampirism was a little bit better. Because, uh, I can't hit anything very accurately now. Oh, I never did use... Oh, I keep forgetting to use my loot lubricator. You if you use double jump before you fall from a high place, will it lower you, the damage you take? Yeah, it'll base it essentially on where you use the jump from. Okay, so you could literally fall from the top and then... Yep. Alright, this is fun. Jump. Boom. Boom. Love doing that. Alright, let's see if there's a lot of guys here. No, there's just the one turret. And I think this is actually a... Nope, good. It's not the boss yet. Now, I think there's actually a second hidden area underneath this thing. Yep. You need a good jump to get over into here. And I get extra armor and some coins. Find all the secrets. All right, we got our weapon maxed. Let's head on out to the next room. All right, loot lubricator. Do not forget to use it. Oh, this room. Perfect. Good. Uh, there's an item called the world's worst missile. I've had it before. It's pretty bad. Oh god, there's- oh, the ceiling is deadly! Oh, get in the- get in the protection. Oh no. How's the ceiling deadly? There's guns on it. Lots of guns. Shit, pizza shooter. I have to get up here to kill it. Don't forget to use your loot lubricator. Yep, I already used it. Oh, there, there might be a little bit of stream delay because there's a lot of particles on this. All right. And now we wait until all of the ceiling guns are gone. Oh, apparently hugbots are only in pre-orders. Oh, that's cute. So it's like his way of saying thank you to you. Oh, that's very nice of him. Oh, this is going to take forever to kill all these guns on the ceiling with this much spread. Hey, Jess. 
I, I love his description of this game. It's like Binding of Isaac, only less dead babies. It also, it's an FPS. Maybe it's not like Binding of Isaac. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to get rid of all these guns on the ceiling. Hey, Jess, you should buy this game for me. No, oh, she has to save her money to buy this game. That's if she finds her credit card. Oh wow, this game looks like it sucks. Oh, that's for Come on, I hate this room. Must gather my loot. Take less damage than I heal. Oh, well, that was too just. Much as I hate to not kill everything in this room, it's going to take me hours to kill those turrets up there. Actually, wait, can I get a safe zone here? I can make a safe zone inside the doorway. That doesn't help much. No, it doesn't help that much at all. Alright, next room. Oh boy. This is the room of flying death. Oh wow, okay, I'm going to die here. I'm almost certainly going to die here. Big turrets, big turrets, big turrets, big turrets, big turrets, big turrets, big turrets. stuff trying to kill me in this room. Oh geez, that room looks weird with all the accelerator things. It's really hard to navigate them. It takes a little bit of practice to get up these walls. Because they put them just far enough apart. Oh, damn it, stop throwing pizza discs at me. Alright, I need to get down. Oh, mm. ow! Pizza sounds good. Not Where's these pizzas. Jesse to order, order one of those pizzas? <laughs> Yeah, he's only Sit in the center, and then pop out to the next level. Oh, I almost got enough. You gotta, like, build up momentum in the level below it, and then jump out to the next level. There we go. And I'm back. Alright. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, almost lost myself again. Alright. To dodge those pizza throwers. Do those accelerator things ever throw you downwards? Yeah, if you hit him going down. So will that cause you to take more fall damage? Oh yeah. I saw you almost fall off the thing. So many lasers. Die, lasers. Alright, laser hazards removed. Now we need to get rid of those pizza shredders. Oh boy. There's lots of stuff up there for loot, so we need to... If you go through a slow field, does it slow you? Mm-hmm. Just like that. Crap. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck on the bottom again. Oh, that was bright when you went in the slow field. Yeah. Back out of that. You know what? Wow, that's a lot of disc throwers. Yeah, that's. I'm just gonna skip the disc throwers. I'm. I suck at these platforming puzzles. Let's go to the next. Did oh. you lose your uh, spread shot thing? Nope, I still have it. it. Doesn't look like you're shooting like it was. Yeah, I know. It does seem like I've lost a little bit of it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm getting out of this room. Oh no, not the egg scrambler. Oh boy, gonna have some trouble here. Uh, where's the weak spots? Weak spots. Weak spots. It's 
So how do you fight this? Uh, you break the weak spots to slow down the outside rotors. Oh, that's Jesus. That room looks creepy. And then you break <laughs> the... And then you attack the center pillar while trying to avoid everything else. Oh, that doesn't I died. too bad. Oh, it killed you? Yep. The, uh... The Egg Scrambler is one of the worst ones with that setup. And so, oh, wow. that's what happens. So that's Tower of Guns. It's super fun. Um, it's got tons of crazy stuff. And let me actually pop out to the menu to show you guys. Honestly, if I... Uh... So this is the collection. These are all of the things that I found so far. I haven't even found half of the items you can have in the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a live stream this morning, I think. It's, yeah. it's super fun. I'd uh, get this game, but I'd prefer if it had multiplayer, so I don't think I'll get it. This would be pretty fun with multiplayer, but I think it's good as it is, and maybe they'll expand it. I mean, this is a two-man dev team, so it is really, really awesome. Not every game needs multiplayer. Alright, well, I will... No. No, but it is more fun. I will catch you guys no, next no. time.